Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't followed my previous tutorial video on how to install Windows 11 ARM through VMware Fusion on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then I'll leave a link to this in the description and you can check it out before you watch this video. The main disadvantage of using VMware Fusion is the fact that we can't change the resolution of the screen. We are perpetually stuck at this 1024 by 768 resolution, even if we full screen the application or even go into full screen here, it's still stuck at 4x3 and 1024 by 768. However, there is a way to arbitrarily change the resolution of this virtual machine. This is despite the fact that VMware Fusion have not made any tools or drivers for Windows 11 ARM. We're still able to work around this graphics issue. So the first thing we need to do is to go into remote desktop settings. So I'm click on the start menu and then type in the word remote desktop and then we're going to click on remote desktop settings. Then we're going to enable remote desktop and then confirm. And then what we need to do is to restart the virtual machine. So I'm going to click start and then restart. So what we need to do is to click on the configure button on the virtual machine and then we're going to select network adapter. And then here we're going to change the auto detect. I want to select this here. And then we're going to type in our password. So I'm going to leave a link in the description for this website. All we're going to do is to scroll down and then find the Microsoft remote desktop client. We want specifically the beta client. So here we're going to download the Microsoft remote desktop beta. Just click download here and then open up the zip when it finishes downloading and then double click on this application, click open, click not now and then continue and then OK. And then we're able to add our PC. So we need to make a note of the internal IP address of the virtual machine. So we're going to click on the network icon here and click settings. Then we're going to click on network and ethernet and then scroll down until we find ethernet here and then scroll down further until we find the local IPv4 address. So this is the one we're going to be typing into Microsoft Remote Desktop Beta. So here we just click add PC. Here we add our local IP address of the virtual machine. So what we need to do is to add a user account here and that's going to prompt for our password when we connect. And then on the display side, we need to optimize for retina displays and update the session resolution on resize. Type in the password for the local machine and press continue. So here we're going to click show certificate and then click always trust this desktop, press continue. Then we enter our local Mac password. So this workaround means that we can access the full aspect ratio of this computer, albeit with a little bit of latency. However, if you're using an application that does not depend on low latency, then this can be a good alternative in order to get the full aspect ratio out of this virtual machine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little workaround. It does not give full native performance, even of the virtual machine itself. However, it does give a lot more screen real estate. You're able to fully maximize applications and you can even play classic games like Solitaire just fine. There's enough latency there to actually be able to play properly. However, you're not going to be playing any serious games on this anytime soon. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.